tell us about what you've done here to really not just have a place but to fit in with the the area the region what's your well what gail and i conceptualized here uh, was a place that tells the story the history uh, of the lake the legacy of the lake and more specifically the uh, the history and the story of the voyageurs the french canadian men who paddled the canoes for the hudson's bay company the northwest company and the american fur trading company all three were fierce rivals and along this shore the northwest company uh, uh, paddled and it, it's the story of those men uh, and their exploits up and down the shore trying to get to Fort William to the great rendezvous. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, we focus in on French Canadian cuisine, uh, we focus in on the, uh, the history and the, uh, the celebration of these people. The paddles here are from Fort William and you notice the actual paddle part is red, the uh, voyageurs like to paint the paddle part of their paddles. Um, uh, they wore the sashes and we've got all of that kind of stuff here and it's just a fun place, an educational experience for families uh, and at the same time get, get uh, enjoy hearty food, hearty fare and uh, lots of uh, lots of French Canadian kind of music, Canadiana music, lots of fiddles, that sort of stuff. So what is the, uh, it as far as the menu, what's your favorite or what do you think is the most unique part uh, of your we, menu? The, the, the uniqueness would be the uh, uh, entrees like beans and bannock. Uh, the ham dishes, but our big specialty here is fresh uh, whitefish and, and lake trout from Superior, yeah. uh, from James Agua Fisheries. So that's what we we primarily sell for uh, dinner entrees. And then in the in the morning you get uh, hearty breakfast of pancakes, French toast, uh, bacon and eggs, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, <laughs> and and baked beans always around if if folks want them. Now, did you grow up in this area? My wife uh, was raised here. I came here a little later. Uh, I'm from Grow Cap, which is the uh, southernmost point of the lake on the north side. Mm -hmm. And uh, I met my wife uh, in Batchewana, and uh, we just uh, settled here after a 14-year uh, a stint in London, Ontario. Wow. And now you're pleased to be here. We're pleased as much to be here and having a great time. And we have a terrific staff that uh, have uh, bought in and believe in our vision of... Uh, of what's needed for a unique establishment along the North Shore and uh, we're telling the story of the Voyageurs. No, that's great. And now Lake Superior itself, which obviously is uh, is the basis for the Voyageurs story, uh, you've, do you spend time or have feelings about the lake itself? Oh, we have lots of feelings about the lake. We try and get on the lake with our big uh, canoe. We have a 26-foot north canoe, uh, which would have been used by the Voyageurs on the river system, not so much on the lake. but. Uh, we try and get out on the lake when we can in that big boat, and uh, it's just a beautiful place. It's uh, There's a lot of magic and mystery here on the North Shore, and uh, we have the Edmund Fitzgerald that lies out here about 15, 20 miles away between us and Whitefish Point, and we make sure our guests uh, know that story and understand uh, how the lake is in control of all things around here. <laughs> what are your concerns for the lake? Well, I'm, I'm concerned because lake levels are dropping. We've seen that uh, over the last five years, and, and there's all kinds of theories and, and uh, suggestions as to what's happening. Uh, there just does not seem to be the precipitation that's needed, although in the last month we've been really, uh, really getting hit hard of uh, this, uh, this system that's come from the prairies. But uh, the lake in general uh, is a very fragile ecosystem, and uh, we need to take care of it. And, uh, we need to work alongside it and uh, uh, create sustainable development that uh, always has the lake uh, in mind when we're uh, when we're doing things here. It's a beautiful piece of, uh, of water and, and geography here, and uh, it's very vital to uh, the economies along the shore. Thanks a lot. Appreciate that. Thank you.